but I guess the idea is once they come up with a profile system that can be viewed worldwide, that wish is something that anyone will be able to see when you go into a new store asking for a bag. Hello my friends, it seems like every time I do an Hermes bag unboxing, there are quite a few bits of information I forget to share with you, frankly because I get overly excited about opening a new bag, so today's video is going to be dedicated to what I guess we could call my 2021 Hermes journey. Basically, I would like to sit down and share with you my experience and some tips and tricks that I feel like would be important for you to know if you're going to be pursuing getting your dream bag this year and moving forward because things are changing, especially with Hermes introducing their new digital wishlist system, which I promise we'll get into. But if you'd like to hear my experience, answer some of your questions when it comes to shopping for MS and requesting bags, and some tips that I feel like would be good for you to have in your back pocket, then please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and keep on watching. I feel like one of the biggest mistakes that you can make when you're hunting for your dream bag is not actually asking for it, just waiting around for your dream bag to literally fall into your lap, which does happen sometimes, but if you're at the beginning of your MS journey, I think you'd greatly benefit from expressing your interest for not just a bag, but for the bag that you would actually like, which I know can be extremely intimidating, even though it really shouldn't be, because if you have a great rapport with the brand, if you've been shopping with the same person and the same store for a while, they'll know your taste and your aesthetic inside and out and they'll be able to advise you on what you should even put in a request for and you have such an amazing time choosing the color, the size, going through the color swatches, the different textures and the leather options that they have available that I feel like would make the experience even more tangible and enjoyable. But if you feel too shy just asking for a bag straight up, I would suggest that you approach it by asking about the internal policy of your store when it comes to putting in a wish list and actually releasing a bag because you can do as much research as you want online. I'm sure all of it will be incredibly helpful. But at the end of the day, it comes down to your store's policy because each and every single boutique is going to be slightly different and it will come down to the direction of the store manager. So I would just ask about the policy, their suggestion when it comes to going about putting in a request for a bag. Do you put in a wish list over the phone, in an email? Can it just be an informal conversation? Is there any sort of a milestone that you have to hit? And then if they have any recommendations for what bag they think you should go for, just because they've been with you throughout this entire journey. So I think that is the best thing you can do. And trust me, it's worth asking because if you ask, you may just receive. So at the beginning of this year, I knew I wanted to get my hands on two bags well, one, it is not the right term. I would have loved to get two bags this year. One of the bags that has been on my mind and on my wish list for years and years and years was the Kelly Pochette. And then the other one was the Constance 18. But my store only allows their customers to put in one official wish list, which for me was the Constance 18, even though I would have been perfectly happy with either one of these bags. So my official wish list bag was the Constance 18, but I mentioned the Kelly Pochette in passing, and even though it wasn't technically on my wish list, it is a bag when it became available, I was able to pick up. So let's talk about why you can only have one bag on your wish list in this new digital system. So I've had the Constance 18 on my wish list in the US for just about six months 
And then obviously when we moved, I had to change stores and basically start from square one. Had to put in a request and start establishing my profile with a brand new store. In the US, I've never had to do anything along the lines of a formal wish list or even an email as such. It was always more of an informal, casual conversation when I expressed what bag I would love to add to my collection. But when I moved and I started shopping in Europe, one thing that I noticed that was quite different is that I actually had to fill out a physical form of what bag I would love to pick up next. So I had to choose the bag, which for me was the Constance 18. I had to choose the exact letter, the color, and the size. And of course you can be as direct and as precise as you want to be when it comes to the color, the size, the letter, or you can be as broad as you please. It just really depends on what you're looking for. Usually the broader you are, the easier it will be for you to get your hands on a bag just because the person you shop with has more to choose from to offer you. But if there's really only one size, one color and one leather that your heart is after, there's no point asking and buying something that you're not going to be happy with in the end. These bags are too expensive to do that. And you're also limited by how many bags you can actually buy. It's not like that you can buy a bag if you're not happy with it, go back for a second, a third or a fourth. You can really only get two bags within one year when it comes to quota bags, so Birkins, Kelly's and certain exotic bags. So your options are limited and your chances of how many times you can make a bad decision. So I would say that if there is only one thing that's on your mind, go for that piece. So I put in a request for the Constance back, I want to say at the end of June of 2020. And then in March, I was asked to put in a new request in their new digital system because their mess has been going more and more digital each season. Some stores have already been doing the a la carte experience on an iPad. So they would show you the color swatches on an iPad. You would choose the size, the color, the stitching and all the details that you can go through when it comes to getting a special order bag on an iPad, which I kind of appreciate the idea of. But on the other hand, when it comes to the color and the leather swatches, I think you still need that tangible aspect just because you're choosing a bag in most cases that you've never seen before or never had a really close encounter with. So the more tangible you can make it, the better off you're going to be in the end because at least those will give you a little bit of an idea of what to expect. But I do think that this digital approach will help a lot of people and I would love to see RMS come out with a system where they would actually make up the bag that you choose, some sort of an interface where you could see exactly what the bag that you're ordering is going to look like. I mean, if anyone, Hermes has the cap capacity to do that, especially because they have such a close relationship with Apple. But anyway, I don't work for Hermes. But if I did, that is definitely something that I would start implementing. So that was sort of the first step towards becoming a little bit more digital when it comes to getting your hands on an Hermes bag. And this next step seems to be the digital wishlist system, where you basically go through the exact same steps that I went through when I first put in an official form wish. I chose the size of the bag, the color, the leather, and then also the size. And you can be, as I said, as precise as you want to be, or you can be a little bit more broad. So what we did in the digital system is I chose the Constance 18, which gave you the style and the size of the bag. I chose the color black. I knew that was the only color that I was interested in. And for the leather, we actually chose green skin instead of saying specifically Epsom. I said, I really would be happy with any sort of green skins, even though in the end I ended up with a heritage skin. But that just shows you that you can be precise, but you don't have to be if you don't want to be. And then once this digital wish has been put into the system, the idea is that it doesn't matter which store you go to, I guess around the world, 
they would be able to see this wish on your profile. So if they have the bag in stock and if you've been waiting for it for quite a while, they can actually make your wish come true. But unfortunately, this system doesn't quite work like that at the moment because so far the Hermes system and your profile is only available to be seen and used in the country that it was created in. So my profile in the US cannot be seen in Europe. And let's say if I have a profile in France, that profile can only be used in France. It won't be able to be seen or edited in, I don't know, let's say Italy. So your profile at the moment is specific to the country where you shop and where you created that profile. And I have been hearing rumors that the Hermes is working on making their profiles worldwide or at least more continental. But that is not the case just yet. And guess how I know? Because I tried. I was doing a little bit of traveling around Europe during the past couple of months, I would say. And every time I was in a different country where I hadn't bought Hermes before, I went in and asked them if they could look at my profile. I put in the exact phone number and the exact email address that I use in the US and that I use in Europe. And guess what? There was no profile created under those details in the countries that I had never shopped before. So it's important for you to know that at the moment your profile is specific to the country where it was created. But I guess the idea is once they come up with a profile system that can be viewed worldwide, that wish is something that anyone will be able to see when you go into a new store asking for a bag. I think that's the idea, but for now, just keep in mind that it's only available to be seen and to be accessed by the store and the country where it was put in. And then the other reason why this probably wouldn't work quite as easily as it would work with other brands, like let's say Louis Vuitton, or I don't even know Versace. I said Versace because Versace has an amazing system. Whatever you buy from them, wherever you are, can be accessed from any store around the world. I know it because I think I was looking for a pair of slippers that I had to repurchase because my old ones started falling apart. I wasn't sure about the size, but they said, we can just look it up in the system if you bought it. It really doesn't matter where you bought it. So they were able to look it up for me. So I know that for a fact that Versace has a global system, but I think so does Louis Vuitton and pretty much all the LVMH brands. Hermes is yet to do that. But I think once they do that, this would be the idea that you can be in a different country. If they have the bag available, they'll be able to offer that bag to you. Now, the other problem with this, which is quite a bit more difficult to correct than just having a worldwide system, is that Hermes really doesn't have bags in access. It's not like they have all this huge stock available at all times of bags that can be freely given out and offered to people. As soon as a new bag comes in, it's almost immediately spoken for just because these bags are in such high demand and so many people are waiting for them that there really isn't too much stock that is just freely floating around out there. I'm sure that it does happen. It has happened to me before too, that I walked into a boutique and they happened to have the bag available that I was hoping for. But it doesn't happen too often, especially these days. So it sounds like a great idea that you could put in this digital wish. It could be viewed from anywhere in the world and you could actually get your hands on it if you walk into a store and they actually have it available. But at the moment, it's not the case. So far, you can put in these wishes on your profile, your store is able to view it. And once you've actually received your bag, the wish is completed and you can move on to submitting a second wish. Now, so far, I've only seen this in a couple of countries across Europe. Please do share in the comment section what has been your experience. Have you put in a digital wish as such? Have you heard about this? Please share in the comment section because there are only so many stores that I can go to to place a wish, especially because I'm incredibly loyal to my home store. So please let me know what's been your experience with this digital wish list. This is something that I first learned about. I want to say March is when they first started implementing it, 
but I wanted to go through every single step of it to the point of actually receiving my bag before I come back and tell you guys about it. So now that my wish has been completed and it's literally been checked off in my profile, I can share with you that this is something that Hermes is slowly but surely implementing. So just keep that in mind, you might be asked to go in and place a digital wish, which I think will definitely make things just a little bit more solid than actually you know doing it over an email or over the phone but at the same time keep in mind that this will only allow you to put in a wish for one bag i guess you could be a little bit more broad you could just say that you want kelly and you'd consider any smaller size but with this system the more specific you are the easier it's going to be and it doesn't mean that you won't be able to get any other bag because even though I've had this one wish in the system since last June, well initially on paper and then on a digital platform since March, I got two other bags that I've only ever mentioned in passing. So this will not exclude you from getting anything else. This will just help to put you on the track of getting the bag that you truly truly want. And the last two points that I wanted to discuss today are some questions that I have been getting and I get every time I unbox a new bag, which is how much did you have to spend to get your hands on that bag and how often did you go to the store to buy something? To both of which I can only tell you that I don't have a strategy, there isn't an answer how often you have to go to the store and how often you have to buy something. And I couldn't really tell you how much you have to spend to get any one of the bags that I own because I never focused on spending just enough money to get my hands on a bag. I'm sure I could have spent less or I could have spent more, but I only ever buy pieces that I'm truly interested in because I do genuinely love Hermes as a brand across the board. So I would buy these pieces whether I get a bag or I don't getting a bag, obviously I love Hermes' bags and all of them I'm incredibly grateful for, but I never buy things just for the sake of getting a bag at the end of it. So obviously you can check out all of my unboxing videos. Most pieces that I buy, I do unbox with the exception of a handful of ready to wear pieces that have to be ordered or just because I really find it so difficult to film unboxing videos. Ready to wear pieces, I not always unbox, but the rest of the pieces I have a playlist for, which you can of course check out. But there isn't a right or a wrong answer. You can buy whatever you want, but make sure that you're only buying pieces that you actually like, because there's no point buying things just so you can get a bag at the end of it. That let's be honest, you'll never be 100% happy with, because you just accumulate so much stuff that you will never really use and enjoy. So I would say it doesn't matter how much you spend, what really matters is what you buy and that you like what you're actually buying. And then when I get the question, how often do I go to the store? How often should you go to the store and ask for a bag? I would say just go whenever you go shopping, go as often as you go to Chanel or Fendi or Bottega, whichever brand is your favorite whenever you go to there you should go to Hermes just as often. If they have something new that you've seen online that you want to see in person, if they tell you that something has come in that they feel you might enjoy, go then. But I don't have you know, a strategy for you to go once a week or once a month. I wouldn't overthink and overcomplicate things and I wouldn't just go for the sake of asking for a bag or asking to look around. It's just going to be a waste of everyone's time. So just go when Ever you'd go shopping with any other brand, that's what I do. Whenever there is something that I would love to pick up or see in person is when I try to go, but there really isn't a big master plan of how often you should go. It's really not going to matter at the end of the day. What really matters is that you have a great experience and that you enjoy shopping with the brand because it really is not that complicated. And I know that once you have received your first bag, you will no longer feel like you're shooting in the dark because you will have an actual tangible proof that it is something that can be done. It's not a mission impossible. So I would just say, don't overthink it. Just enjoy the ride, go with the experience and enjoy as much of Hermes as 
you really want to. I'm trying to think if there was anything else I was meaning to tell you. I'm sure I'll think of something as soon as I'm done filming this video and if I do, I'll make sure to leave it in the comment section down below for you. But please do share your experience with this digital wishlist system. I would love to know how many of you have had the chance to try it. I think it started rolling out in March and I'm not sure how far it's been taken at this point, but if you have tried it, please let us know in the comment section. I would love to know. I'm excited to see where they're going to go with it. I completely get the idea of having this larger picture of having a system that can be accessed from any store anywhere in the world. I think it would be a great idea that if you traveled, you could get your hands on your dream bag if a store has the bag that you're after. But I don't really see it working out like that at the moment, but I'm sure that Hermes knows more than I do and they're doing things for a reason. So please do share your experience, share your Hermes journey. Please let me know what you have experienced and if there are any tips that you would have for someone who is just getting into RMS, I'm sure that everyone would find them incredibly helpful. But for now, this is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here and I hope to see you back here with a new video really, really soon. But for now, Bye.